The arcade game that we analyzed was the basketball game. In this game, you were given a basketball and you have three chances to make it into the basket that is approximately eight feet away. This game applies to the concepts of projectile motion. When the ball leaves the player's hands, it becomes a projectile because the only force acting on it is the force of gravity. The projectile has values for both horizontal and vertical motion, which are calculated independently. The horizontal motion of a projectile can be calculated using the equation displacement equals horizontal velocity times times time. The horizontal distance the basketball traveled was 8 feet, which we obtained from the person running the game. The average time of the three tries was 52 seconds. With these two values, we can find the horizontal velocity. The vertical motion of the basketball can be found with the kinematic equations. The variables in these equations included acceleration, vertical displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, and time. The acceleration is always equal to negative 9.80 meters per second squared because the only force acting on the ball is the force of gravity. The vertical displacement in, the ca in this case is zero because it was thrown from the same height as the hoop. The initial and final velocity will have an x and y component that can be con determined by plugging the values we have into the kinematic equations and will depend on the angle that the ball was thrown at.